G'day folks and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to, I created this portrait study from beginning to end. If you stick around you'll see that I'm visited by a creepy crawly as I'm sketching. As you can see here I'm laying in the horizontal lines to uh, measure out the distance, particularly from the hairline to the eyebrow, and then from the base of the nose and the lips, and then the chin. The chin was a little bit difficult because the angle of the face was facing upwards so it was a bit of a challenge but what I did next was start blocking in the shadows just lightly first with the side of the pencil just basically trying to find out the shapes of the shadows and I've put in the eyebrows just working on the nose and the lips at this stage I'm sort of quite confident that the proportions are right so I just started adding in more shadows, just refining the shapes, working out the shadows underneath the chin, and then positioning the ear on the light side of the face. Always taking note of the relationships of the angles to each feature. I'm still just lightly shading in. At this stage I'm just using a HB pencil working out where the distances of the features are, the ear. Here I am just trying to work out where the shadow of the neck is going, just making sure that the shapes are similar to the reference photo. Here I'm just lightly going over the face to get rid of that stark white. Now I'm just rubbing my finger over the face just to get rid of some of the scratchy lines. Here's my creepy little friend. Now I'm just continue on putting in light shading on the light side of the face, the chin, just building up shadows and the hairline, just making sure that the hairline's in the right position. Now I've changed to a 2B pencil just to darken the eyelashes and the eyebrows and the nostrils. Putting more definition into the hairline. Now I've gone back to the HB pencil, just redefining more shadows. Now the 4B pencil, just darkening those shadows around the eyes and the cheek, trying to blend it all in. Under the neck. Just seeing how the um, shape of the shadows form on the face. Starting with the other side of the neck and the hair. Here I'm sort of just gauging where the hair goes in relationship to the rest of the face. Here I'm marking in the shadows on the neck just to give it a bit more definition I've now switched to a 4B pencil just to get those darker areas and I've raised the angle of my pencil so it sort of gets a bit darker because it um, goes into the grain of the paper now on the hairline of you'll see soon I'll change the to the HB again, just to blend those edges, make it a little bit more softer, adding a bit of shadow to the hair, keeping an eye on how the light hits the hair. At this stage of the drawing, I'm quite satisfied how it's going and won't be too long until it's finished. Overall, I think this one turned out quite well.
just going in a little bit of darker, just giving those extra touches to make it pop. Just a reminder, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you found some value.